Today's video, I'll be showing you how to sew a sleeve placket. If you have a button-up t-shirt, it most likely has a sleeve placket and it allows you to open it up, adjust it, like roll up your sleeves, all that stuff. And then you can put buttons here so you can, um, so you don't have the whole thing open, flapping everywhere. In this video, I just showed you how to do the placket, not the cuff because this is more confusing and I wanted to show you how to do the placket. The sleeve placket can have a different little shape, so most common one is the triangle and there's also a square. I have a sleeve placket pattern in the description box that you can print out so we can be on the same page. Just to get it out of the way, this is not an old video, my hair is back to purple. All I did was get a door hair dye in 116 purple range, mix it with conditioner, and put it right on top of my magenta hair. That's all I did. Let's get started. Print out the pattern that is in the description box and place it on top of folded fabric to have a right and left sleeve pattern. Poke the dots with a pin and use a sharpie to stamp your points. Mark the end of the lines as well. Take off the pattern and connect all the marks according to the pattern. The placket I'll be making is for a right sleeve, but I recommend practicing making the right sleeve for your first time so it's less confusing when sides are switched making the left sleeve. Take some muslin fabric and determine your right side and draw something on it so you don't get confused. When making the real thing, this fabric will be your actual sleeve. Place the right side of the placket together with the wrong side of the muslin fabric. Pin it and sew the rectangle box where it says stitch line. Sew using a straight stitch and don't forget to back stitch your stitches. Place the needle down on both corners of the box before lifting the presser foot to turn. Following the three lines, cut down both layers of the fabric. Use an iron to make your stitches crisp. Then bring the placket to the right side of the sleeve by pulling it through the slit. Iron one side of the placket so it's easier when folding down the edges. Iron the corners so they're nice and sharp. Starting with the shorter side, fold on the line you drew and iron. Then fold in the edge about one fourth of an inch. For the longer side, fold on the fold line and fold in the edge about one fourth of an inch. The dots you marked earlier should line up together. You can either fold down the top edge to make a square or fold it at an angle on both sides to create a triangle. I had to refilm this part for a better view of me folding the triangle. Make sure the bottom of the angles line up evenly. Now that you have all your marks folded up, you're ready to sew. Sew along the edge of the short side of the placket. Use a straight stitch and lock your stitches. Don't worry if your stitch line on the back isn't lined up with the seam, what matters is the front. Pin the longer side of the placket down and sew along the edge and up to the tip of the triangle and down to the sewing line till you meet the edge. Go as close to the edge as possible using a straight stitch. Make sure the needle's down at the points before turning and lifting your presser foot. Now you got yourself a nice sleeve placket. The left sleeve placket will be sewn the same way. Just make sure to fold your fabric in half when cutting the pattern so you have a left and right sleeve placket. Just so you know the placement of the placket, if this were a real sleeve, these raw edges of the fabric will be your underarm seam of the sleeve. So this would be sewn right sides together. When making a sleeve, your placket and underarm seam will be sewn first, then you would add your cuff along the bottom. Thank you so much for watching! Thumbs up this video if it was really helpful and you would like to see more Sewing 101 videos. And comment below saying which Sewing 101 videos you would like to see next. 
If you'd like to follow me on my social medias, you can follow me on Instagram at CraftyAmy and Snapchat CraftyAmy93 and Facebook CraftyAmy93. Subscribe if you haven't already to watch more Sewing 101 videos and some crafty DIY projects. Thank you for watching!